what's up friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Pam and today I have a very exciting collaboration for you I got a package from Wally Grow I was very happy to work with Wally Grow um, first of all because I wanted to try their planters they look really cool I know Maria from Bloom and Grow Radio really likes hers, so I wanted to try them. Um, but also because when COVID-19 struck, Wally Grow actually started making masks, and for every mask that you bought, you could buy a three-pack in like these planty um, motifs, and they would donate three to first responders. And I thought that was great, so I ended up buying their masks and actually wearing it to protest for Black Lives Matter who were the recipients of their next charitable mask project, where they have a Black Lives Matter mask up right now, which will donate $15 to Black Lives Matter, which is 100% of the proceeds. We love a socially conscious company. So let me show you what they sent me. So I got two of Wally Grow's newest pot design. It's called the Loop. Here we go. Oh, I decided to get both a white one and a terracotta colored one because I have both white and terracotta pots in my house. I figured I could put these in two different places. Um, I definitely am running. Sorry about the glare on my on my. <laughs> I dropped my phone and broke the lens on the camera. So I actually have a new phone. I just need to finish my videos on this phone. Then we can use the new one. So don't mind the ghost to my side. That's just my broken lens. Okay, high quality operation here, okay? Wally Grow's gonna take their pots back. So they also make their pots out of 100% recyclable plastic, which is wonderful. And they currently ship to 176 countries. Pretty bananas. These are available in five different colors. You can get these in five different colors. So there's a whole bunch of different options you can pick. You can also grab macrame cord from them because these can be strung with macrame cord and mounted on the wall. Hence the name, Wally Grow. Hence their slogan, no floor space, no problem. I sound like I'm shilling this like crazy, but really they just, they just sent them to me to review. So we're gonna get an honest review out of these. We're gonna see how I like them. Um, we're gonna not break them. So I noticed on their website that they do have a lot of videos on how to plant these. So I'm definitely gonna watch those videos before I really get crazy in here. I have to decide what plants I wanna put in here. And then um, from there, we have to pick where we're gonna hang them. So you guys are gonna come along on that little journey with me. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Oh, here's the cord, okay. So um, the big, ooh. Okay, so I think this is a mounting thingy. This is a mounting thingy. So this has a little indent on the inner basket here just to make it easy for you to pull this out in case you need to drain any of the additional water that may end up in the reservoir. So the big thing with these is that you're getting a lot of air to your roots as well as not having your roots sit in water. You know, this is gonna hopefully keep from overwatering. And I'm very excited because I gotta tell you, I love to hang plants up high but I have noticed that I will neglect them sometimes if they're up a little too high and they're difficult to get down. So the fact that I can just pop this out, very helpful. It says it includes knob, screw, anchor, and 10 feet of cord. So this is the knob. It's suited for all from tropical to cacti and everything in between. Oh, bold claim. Great for walls, ceilings, tables, and more. Let your imagination run free. I guess that's the other cool thing is that these don't technically need to hang. You could put them, you know, just on a table. They are very cute. They are made from 100% recycled plastic, like we said, and made in the USA. It says you will keep your roots healthy with a 360 degrees no leak drainage and aeration. And it also has vacation mode watering option using a patented reservoir. Shut the front door. What do you mean? I wonder how that works. Okay, well, we'll have to watch the videos. And then the easy to remove inner shell for quick access. I'm 
I'm very thrilled. So these retail for $29.99. So that is, you know, it's not cheap, um, but this is a pretty cool pot. So we'll see if it's worth it. And if you think it is, Wally Grow has also been so kind as to provide a discount code, which I will put down below. I don't make any money off of this. This is just a discount code for you. And I didn't make any money off of this either. They just sent me the pots. They just want, they just want my opinion. They just like my opinions, okay guys? They like my opinions. Okay, let's go figure this out. Okay, so first we have to put the rope onto the planter so that we can hang it. And I'm gonna hang mine from that bar up there. So I'm going to do the two loop overhead hanging method. They do have videos on their website on wallygrow.com on how to do the different ties to hang these against a wall or from something overhead. Um, so. If, like me, you couldn't figure it out without a video, they got you covered. So you're gonna take this inside part out, and then there are holes on the side here, and you're gonna put the two loose ends in the same hole. Make sure they're even. And then you're gonna pull them through enough to tie a knot at the end. Pull that through there. Put the cord around like this. And then that will just go into this little groove. And then you're gonna put the looped end through the other hole. And then grab this knotted side. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. There we go, that's better. Okay, so I decided on a plant to put in this planter, and as I was trying to take it down, dropped it on my head, broke all the new growth off, and um, yeah, I got dirt everywhere. So that's exciting. It's, it's um, let's see, the fifth plant, the fifth plant, including all my baby cacti that have gone over this week, so. I'm gonna hang mine from up there and kind of wrap it around the pole and stuff and see if maybe it likes that. But it is doing a little better than it used to, but this thing looks really, really sad. This is a philodendron micans. It's like a velvet leaf. It's very pretty when it looks happy. Uh, the most beautiful strand of it broke on my head. So I'm gonna put this in some water and hopefully it will root up for me. I'm gonna use the white one, I think, for that area and hopefully I don't regret that, but I think that it will look nice. Using Fox Farms Ocean Forest right now. My good stuff is becoming scarce. I guess the company got bought out or something, so. I'm back to finding my Soulmate soil mix. So here's what survived <laughs> the crash. The roots do look pretty good, and we were right about on time for a repot, so. I did find that when I trimmed this plant back really hard when it was looking very sad, that definitely helped it out because then it started putting out a lot more new growth. Although some of it just sort of lost all its leaves and became long vines, but most of the plant is looking better. Right, so we just slide this guy in the outer pot. Go. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Y'all, I am not having a good time today. Water. And then I'm just gonna use an S hook at the top just to make it easy to put up and take down. Hopefully that fits over the bar, which I'm 
now doubting it will. She's up there. What do you guys think? That's just like a tension shower curtain thing. And I just have like a little screw to sort of reinforce it because it does slide down on one side with the plant eventually if you don't reinforce it a little bit. Um, eventually I'm going to put something a little more sturdy up there. Hopefully a cuter grow light, but you know, one thing at a time. I need to organize that shelf and disperse a few plants around the house and clean things up just a little bit but when you look at it over here much better yeah so I just need to I just need to declutter I think oh I really like it next to the pictures though okay so now I want you guys to pick what I'm gonna put in this other one I'm gonna show you a couple of options that I think could probably use a repot do some trailing, would look nice in this pot, and I want you guys to let me know which of these plants that you want me to put in here, and I will show you guys very soon how it comes out. Thank you so much to Wally Grow for sending me these planters to try out. I will, of course, keep you guys updated on how I like them and how they're doing. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post an update, a video, a repotting, or when I go live. My cat's jumping in the box right now. What are, you, what are you doing, buddy? Is that for you? Thank you, Wally Grow, for sending these. Thank you guys for watching this, and I will see you very soon in the next one.